Hi everyone, I'm Tom Kim. In this video, I would like to show you how to do McNamara's test in Excel and R. The McNamara's test is a statistical test used on paired nominal data. I have prepared simple data. There are 120 observations, and each observation has been gathered from same person or object. In order to do McNamara's test in Excel, we need to get contingency table from this data. So click insert and pivot table and select data here from column A to column C. And let's see the result in this spreadsheet. So you can check existing worksheet. Okay. And move drag, uh, pre uh, to uh, rows here, drop here and post to columns and uh, we need to calculate uh, values so let's move ID into here so uh, we need to uh, count uh, of ID so instead of sum let's change it as value uh, value as count All right so this is a contingency table from this uh, data so let's copy and paste it here. Right. So uh, in our program, uh, I generated this contingency table by using a matrix function. Yeah, and I gave also row names and column names. Then by, uh, it, uh, by using magnamar.test function, uh, we can do magnamar's test. So the left one uh, used a correct option as first. And the right one uh, changed the correct option as true. Yeah, this is default. So it matters about continuity correction issue. I will show you how to get uh, both of them in Excel. So proportion of yes during pre period 75 over 100. And proportion of yes during post period. 94 over 100. So there is uh, roughly 16 percent point change from pre period to post period about yes. So we want to test whether this change is significant, significant from statistical analysis standpoint. Right? So chi square value here, uh, we can use this formula. 27 B minus E B 27 minus 8 and squared over 27 plus 8 All right and P value can be calculated by 1 minus uh, chi square dot uh, dist and X comma degrees of freedom equals 1 because uh, it is 2 by 2 contingency table so degrees of freedom is n minus 1 times n minus 1 so it is uh, it is 1 then comma and cumulative option as true right this one is same as this one and continuity correction so we can use this formula yes 27 minus 8 Minus 1 squared over 27 plus 8. Yeah, this one is the same as this one. And p value. Can you use the same formula? Right. So, either way, uh, no continuity correction or with continuity correction, uh, it shows that a very small uh, p-bell. It means that we can uh, reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, we can accept uh, uh, alternative hypothesis. So it means that we can say that there is a significant uh, change uh, in terms of yes proportion. That's how we can do a uh, McNamara's test uh, and how we can interpret this result. So I hope it was useful. 
uh, for you to understand how we can do Magnet Mars Terrace in Excel and R. Please uh, click like and uh, like sub uh, please click and subscribe uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, hope to see you soon. Thank you.